abstains anomaly is a congenital anomaly of the tricuspid valve which may manifest soon after birth or more commonly later in life in abstains anomaly two of the three leaflets of tricuspid valve are displaced further into the right ventricle usually anterior leaflet is not displaced while the septal and posterior tricuspid leaflets are displaced so a part of the right ventricle becomes part of the right atrium functionally and is called atrialized right ventricle undisplaced anterior leaflet is elongated the tricuspid valve in abstains anomaly can have severe regurgitation or stenosis both of which leads to enlargement of the right atrium as part of the right ventricle is taken away by the right atrium right ventricle is small in abstains anomaly sometimes there is an associated atrial septal defect as the pressure in the right atrium is usually higher than that in the left atrium in abstains anomaly blood shunts from right atrium to left atrium when the right atrial blood with lower oxygen saturation mixes with left atrial blood the oxygen content of left atrial blood decreases this blood flows into the left ventricle and is pumped out into the aorta hence systemic oxygen saturation drops and can manifest as central cyanosis in abstains anomaly enlarged right atrium and the atrialized right ventricle can be the focus of cardiac arrhythmias which could be dangerous in addition there could be an accessory conduction pathway from the right atrium to right ventricle the accessory pathway also predisposes to supraventricular tachycardias this is a reentrant tachycardia utilizing the accessory pathway and the normal atrioventricular nodal pathway mild varieties of abstains anomaly may not produce many symptoms and present in adult life often detected during routine medical examination for another reason severe varieties can manifest in infancy with central cyanosis clinical examination is characterized by multiple heart sounds because of split first and second heart sounds in abstains anomaly loud closure sound of the large anterior tricuspid leaflet has been called sail sound x-ray in abstains anomaly may show right atrial enlargement and cardiomegaly lung fields are relatively oligemic this ecg in abstains anomaly shows rsrs pattern in v2 splintered polyphasic qrs complexes as seen in lead 2 are characteristic of abstains anomaly they are also called fragmented qrs sometimes supraventricular tachycardia may be documented in the ecg this echocardiogram in abstains anomaly shows the gross distal displacement of the septal tricuspid leaflet and the atrialized portion of the right ventricle this color doppler echocardiogram shows severe tricuspid regurgitation as a bluish mosaic jet from right ventricle to right atrium those with recurrent supraventricular tachycardia may need electrophysiology study using intracardiac electrodes once the location of the accessory pathway is found by ep study they can be ablated by radio frequency catheter ablation some cases of abstains anomaly may need surgical management one important surgery for abstains anomaly is known as da silva's con procedure thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates